Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I always like to have feedback from brothers and sisters in the community. I don't have this all figured out. Does anyone have this all figured out? No, the answer is no. Just our Lord. He has this all figured out. His timing. <laughs> I got a comment and it says, Hello brother, if you proclaim Jesus as your, as your Savior, you must also go to a nearby church which I do disagree with. I don't think you have to go to church to be saved or anything like that. It, like, it, is it a good thing to do? Yes, and I, and I do that. So anyways, hey brother, if you proclaim Jesus as your Savior, you must go to a nearby church, which will give you the strength in the Lord. You must be willing to be baptized. It is a requirement to be saved. I know people will have a comment about that. So please, keep it good in the comment section, but like, let's comment about this if you so feel. It is a requirement to be saved. The thief on the cross was, was under the law of the Old Testament and was saved by our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the only one has the power to do so. Seriously, more important than denouncing these people who make satanic symbols is that you go to a nearby evangelical church that pre preaches the faithful word of our Lord, that you hear the word, that you believe the gospel, that you repent, that you confess, and that you are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The pastor can guide you. May God bless you. And I say very politely, I disagree with you, but I also go to church on Sundays, and I was water baptized in 2019. I understand this comment very much. I understand these things. A lot of Christians disagree about certain things like repentance. Some people would say metanoia. It means changing your mind, believing in Jesus, and that's it. But I, I do also believe it's good to repent of your actual sins. Not that we're perfect because, hey, do we slip up? Honestly, I cannot be the only Christian who like gets angry sometimes and lusts and like all these things, right? I am far from a perfect person, but I do believe in once saved, always saved. And again, people would disagree about that as well. But this is why it's good to have a, you know, comment section where we can say, hey, did you think about this topic? Or like, did you think about the Bible like this? Something like that. So I don't totally agree with this, with this person here. Like I believe that Believing in Jesus Christ, that is salvation. I, I, I do believe it's that simple. And again, I think it's good to go to church. I think it's good to be water baptized. I think it's good to repent of your sins. But I don't think that that saves you because, right, if you backslide one day, now you're not saved or something. Like, I do believe in once saved, always saved. God knows our hearts. This can be confusing at times for Christians that are devout, and it can be confusing for new Christians, and it can be even more confusing for non-Christians. So just throwing out there, I appreciate comments like this very much, but I just don't I don't always dis I don't always agree a hundred percent with people that comment in the comment section. Moving on. Harry Potter. Daniel Radcliffe is the actor that plays Harry Potter. Harry Potter is something that we should not take part in. It's like, it can be an introduction to witchcraft. It's definitely like occult and witchcraft-like, right? So children watch this and they go, oh, that stuff's neat. Keep in mind, I've never seen a full movie of Harry Potter, but I've researched it and I understand, like I've seen a lot of Christian takes on it. So I can understand that, again, it's witchcraft. It, it's it's done in a children's movie, so it's not like, ooh, it's so scary or something. No, it doesn't have to be scary, but it, it has to do with disobeying God, taking part in, like, witchcraft and black magic and other things. Harry Potter just so happens to be wearing the devil horns. Emma Watson, who is also in Harry Potter, just so happens to be wearing devil horns. <laughs> what a coincidence. If you were the photographer and you want to take a picture of a celebrity, do you think covering one of their eyes is a good way to show their face and get their fame and what like, you, you know what I mean? Like the point of taking a picture of a celebrity is to get people, oh, there's that celebrity. I'm interested in this magazine now or something like that. He is clearly doing one eye symbolism, darkening his eye utterly. Why? Because he's a satanic Freemason. Oh no, sorry. He's an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> and Emma Watson is darkening one eye utterly, doing one eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. That's what she's doing. 
Here's Harry Potter again doing one-eye symbolism. He's doing it again here for some reason. And he's doing it again there for some reason. Hmm. Emma Watson is doing one-eye symbolism again on a magazine cover. And she's doing one-eye symbolism again. This is probably just a darn coincidence. Oh, now she's doing six, six, six over the eye of Horus. And she does it again for some reason. Do you wake up in the morning and do this in the mirror and go, look at me, I'm doing a satanic gesture. No, you probably don't. And if you say you do the A-OK -okay sign, you know, this thing. You may do it and say A-OK -okay to, to your friend or family member or whatever. They do it because it's six, six, six. Just like she puts it over her eye, she's doing it again there. And Harry Potter does it as well. He's probably saying everything's A-OK -okay in the world. Why don't you become an <coughs> atheist and everything will be A-OK? -okay? Oh, he's doing it again. No way. He's throwing up the devil horns. He's probably just a big fan of ACDC. You know, rock and roll, right? They sold their souls for rock and roll. That's crazy Christian conspiracy. Satanic panic much, right? He's doing the devil horns. Think about why he's doing it. Oh, he's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands there, looking very smug. I'm pretty sure God will wipe the smile off his face pretty soon. Index fingers together, other fingers interlocked. He's doing it again there, very subtly. Index fingers together, other fingers interlocked. Wow. He's on a magazine doing the Freemason hidden hand. Freemasons hide their hands in their coats. I'm not entirely sure why they do that, but I know they do that. And if you can't see that he's hiding his hand in his coat like a Freemason, you are a blind person that needs spiritual discernment. You need the fear of God in your life. Why don't you snap out of it already and see that... I'm showing you the truth. What am I showing you? The world is biblical. The bad news? Everything is sold out and satanic. Don't believe me? Research. Everything from creation of this world, Big Bang, evolution, space, globe, all of that is satanic deception. I know people will laugh and scoff at this. That's fine. You will find out one day. These people hide their hands in their coats like Freemasons and they do the other signs, symbols, and agendas, right? These people are all for abortion. They're all for the LGBT, X, Y, M, P, 1, 2, 3, that community. They're all for all of that stuff. Why? Because that stuff is antichrist. So Harry Potter hiding his hand in his coat. Oh, Emma Watson from Harry Potter is hiding her hand in her coat. What a coincidence. Brothers and sisters, everyone else. I get sarcastic because... The world doesn't listen. People I love don't listen. They think I'm a crazy person wasting my time, wasting my life, when actually I'm showing you the truth that could help save your soul because if you see that this is real, that means Jesus and the Bible are real and Jesus is God. He died on the cross, shed his precious blood, was buried and resurrected three days later according to the scriptures, the Holy Bible, God's word. That's what's going on right now. It's always been going on. The world is so deceptive right now. People are too busy living their best life now, watching television shows that are full of Freemason Satanists. On and on and on. Anything but actually reading the Bible and researching. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.